Welcome back to another Moulage Monday. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do an infected suture. You'll need some petroleum jelly, some one-ply tissue, some liquid latex, some spirit gum, suture or string, a palette knife, my Ben Nye Master Bruise Wheel, yellow and green food coloring, and some gloves. Okay, let's get started. I'm going to first start by going ahead and applying my liquid latex in a thin layer. I've pulled apart pieces of tissue, so I'm going to take one piece and I'm just going to lay that over the liquid latex and let it dry before adding another layer. While I'm waiting for that to dry, I'm going to go ahead and make some wound discharge that I'll be placing over my suture wound later to give it that infected look. So I'm going to start off by getting some petroleum jelly. Then I'm going to add a few drops of yellow food coloring. After that, I'm going to add a few drops of green food coloring, and then I'm going to mix the colors together. I think the color just looks a little too green, so I'm going to be taking some more yellow food coloring and adding a few more drops. Instead of mixing this discharge, you could also use cream of chicken soup. That would also give it a nasty smell, but this is all I had on hand. Now I'm going to check to see if that first layer is dry. It looks like it is, so I'm going to start applying my second layer going to be getting some more liquid latex and putting another layer of tissue on top of it. Once again, I'm checking my layer to make sure it's dry, and it is, so I'm going to be adding some more liquid latex and another layer of tissue. Alright, I am going to be adding a, another layer of liquid latex. This will be my fourth and final layer. Adding it, and then I'm going to add another thing of tissue and let it dry before I cut it. You can see here my last layer is dry, so I'm going to start cutting the edges of this tissue off of where the latex has dried. It's proven difficult to just cut all of this tissue off with my palette knife, so instead I'm going to be taking some scissors and I'm just going to be cutting around the outer edges of the dried latex.
Now that I've done that, I'm going to be taking a razor from my palette knife. This one's extra sharp, and I'm just going to be cutting a line down the center where um, I would want my laceration to be. Now that I've done that, I'm going to be taking some tan makeup and a sponge, and I'm just going to be trying to color match this suture wound to my own skin color. Obviously here you can see how annoyed I got. The sponge was taking too long, so I just started using my finger. I'll be adding a little bit more color once this is applied to my skin to color match better, but for now that's just the base and I'm going to be adding the sutures to the suture wound. For the sutures, you can use actual suture material or you can use a simple needle and thread.
Now that I've done applying my sutures and I've tied it off at the bottom, I'm going to apply some spirit gum, um, which is like a skin safe adhesive for you and your latex. And I'm going to be applying this to my skin. I'm going to let this dry a little. Once it starts to feel tacky, then I know I can go ahead and apply my latex. All right, I've applied my dry latex on top of my spirit gum and it is sticking pretty well. However, the edges look a little raised. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and apply a little bit more latex just around the edges to kind of blend it in with my skin a little bit more. After this latex dries, then I'm going to be taking some more makeup to color match the rest of the latex to my skin. All right, now that my latex is dry, I am once again using this tan cake makeup by Pocket Nurse, and I am just going over the um, latex that just dried that I used to kind of lay down the edges a little bit more. And I'm just trying to blend this into my skin as much as possible. I'm adding a little bit more color. This is just a regular concealer you can get from the drugstore and I'm adding it to some of the white splotches that the cake makeup couldn't seem to hide. Now I am taking this tan color highlighter and I'm just gently brushing over some of the areas. Now that we're done color matching, we are going to be using this red color from my Master Bruce wheel, and I'm going to start making um, an infected kind of look. Now, if you just wanted to make a regular suture wound, you could simply just leave this part out, 
but from here on out this video is just showing you how to make the suture wound look infected. So I'm going to take this red color and I'm just coloring all along the laceration suture wound area and I'm going to just try to blend it out as much as possible. I'm having some difficulty getting into the crevice with that red color so I'm going to be taking a really flat paintbrush that I have and just kind to color into the laceration crevice um, because if this were really an infected wound this would be the area of the most concentrated red. Now that I'm done adding my red, I'm going to be taking my wound discharge that I made earlier and I'm just placing it along my wound anywhere I really want to. The wound seemed to look a little too green for my taste, so I'm taking a little yellow from the Monster Bruise Wheel palette, and I'm just going to be adding that into the laceration to kind of give the colors a little bit more gradient. And then I'm going to be adding a little bit more of that green discharge back on top. Alright, and that's it. What do you think? I hope you enjoyed this Moulage Monday video, and if you did, go ahead and click that subscribe so you can see me weekly. Thanks for watching. Bye.